Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Tobias here. Um, you know, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a YouTube video in the past um, two days, I believe. I'm sorry, I'm gonna try my best not to let that happen again. Um, you know me, I like to, I, I try my best to stay consistent with my videos. So anyways, let's get right into today's vlog. And the video I wanna make for you guys today is about the top 10 tourist destinations according to TripAdvisor. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of the list and make my way up to the top. So before I begin, I wanna just warn everybody, I might say the names of some of these places wrong. So yeah, try not to hold that against me, guys. Anyways, guys, the 10th most popular tourist destination as of 2016 in the world is Udab, Indonesia. So guys, this place, Udab, you can describe it in one word. The Jungle Book. You know, it kind of reminds me of that one part of the Jungle Book where like the monkeys are. It's like those ancient ruins and they're going all crazy like singing that song. Although that movie is supposed to take place in India and this is Indonesia. But yeah guys, definitely a cool looking place. Like I could picture myself wanting to visit this place to, like just by these pictures. Like it looks awesome. Number nine on the list guys is New York. Now I personally wanted to visit New York because you know, that's where Casey Neistat lives as many of you know. But apart from him, there's many sights to see there. There's the Statue of Liberty, Central Park, Times Square, the Empire State Building, and Ground Zero, where the two towers once stood. Number eight on the list is Hanoi, Vietnam. Now guys, as I said earlier, I might have pronounced that wrong, but you know, this looks like a very nice place. You know, if you guys, once again, guys, I'm gonna bring up Casey Neistat. Casey Neistat made a video about when him and his son went to visit Vietnam, and it looked really cool. And, um, you know, uh, they also have, like, caves to go exploring. And just like a lot of, like, resorty type places, they have beautiful beach resorts. And, yeah, Vietnam looks like a cool place to go. Um, on this list, there are a few Asian places that... Asian countries, yeah. So, all right, let's move on to the next place. Number seven, Rome, Italy. Rome has always been one of those places that I personally wanted to visit and I never have. I have been to Venice, Italy, and if you want to go check out my channel. I do have a video all about the trip I took to Venice, Italy. But Rome, as many of you probably know, is rich in ancient history. You have the Vatican City, where the Pope lives. You can visit the Colosseum, the Sistine Chapel, as many of you know was painted by Michelangelo, and a ton of sightseeing. Number six, guys, is another one that I might mispronounce. It is Prague, Prague, Czech Republic. They are known for their art galleries, their churches, their beer. There is a place called the Estades Theater, where they have theater, opera, and music. I might be pronouncing that wrong also, guys. Please forgive me. There is an old Jewish cemetery that you can visit. And there is a synagogue there that lists the names of the 80,000 Jewish people who were rounded up in the um, Holocaust. Number five on the list is Siem Rip. Cambodia, another difficult name to pronounce, um, another, and another South Asian country. Here you have the ruins of Angkor Wat, you have beautiful beaches, and a plus about this place is you can use US dollars in most of the tourist areas. Number four on the list is Paris, France. As many of you know, you have the Eiffel Tower, you have the Louvre, wait, Louvre? The Louvre. Yeah, but well, the Louvre is the art museum that has the houses the Mona Lisa. And you have the um, Notre Dame Cathedral. And those are just a few of the famous sites you can visit in Paris. Number three on the list is Ma Marrakech, Morocco. Um, yeah, I'm sure all of you guys have probably heard of Morocco. Um, and yes, this is in, on the continent, the northern part of the continent of Africa, and it is described as being a very serene place. It has many markets, many gardens, and many palaces and mosques. Definitely looks like an interesting place to visit. Number two is Istanbul, Turkey, which, yeah, I actually have heard that they have very resort type places in Istanbul, and yeah, apparently it's a pretty popular place for European -er, Europeaners to go visit. You have the mosques, you have the bazaars, you have the Turkish baths, and yeah, you have the beach resorts. Istanbul actually looks like a very beautiful place to visit. I believe they have good nightlife as well. That's definitely a place I would consider visiting. Number one on the list, this is the top tourist destination of 2016 according to TripAdvisor, and it is London, England. 
Um, I've actually visited London. I visited there, um, I believe it was back in 2009 when I visited, and maybe I should make a video about that trip because that was a very nice um, trip that we took. You know, I, I took a picture in front of um, Buckingham Palace. That's where the Queen lives. You know, you have the sights there, you have the, the London Eye, which is like one of the biggest um, Ferris wheels in the world. Actually, I think it's like number seven on the list of biggest Ferris, we Ferris wheels in the world. I know that number two is the High Roller in Las Vegas. And if you go way back, I have a vlog where I was on the High Roller in Las Vegas, and that was really cool. But yeah, the London Eye is very nice. You have Big Ben, you have the London Bridge. Um, one thing about Big Ben is, Big Ben is actually the name of the of the bell inside the clock tower. It's not the actual clock tower. It's the bell inside the clock tower that's named Big Bell. Uh, Big, Big Ben. I don't know what's up with me today, guys. I'm having a hard time talking, apparently. Um, another thing to consider about London, just from what I remember, is that um, at least when I went, um, I believe it was in 2009, the pound was very strong against the dollar, so it's uh, it's pretty expensive for us Americans to go over there, but it's definitely worth it. Um, another thing is, is that the hotel rooms are a lot smaller in London. They're a lot smaller than what we are used to over here and probably even actually other places that I've been to in Europe. Um, the hotels were quite small in London. As some of you may know who are familiar with my videos, I'm not really like a, a travel vlogger, but I have done quite a bit of traveling like in my life. And I always try to like encourage people to travel, especially for Americans, because my experience with like just people who I know here in America, not many Americans travel. Like I would say the majority of the people that I probably just know, um, very few of them have been outside of the country. And a lot of people get wrapped up in like, so wrapped up into American culture that they almost feel like nothing else exists out there. And I, I think it's an important thing to travel to kind of keep you grounded and know that there's like other ways of life out there um, than the American kind of lifestyle. Because um, a lot of people here are very set in their ways and I feel like it's really important to kind of culture yourself in a way. So I'm just gonna leave it at that guys. If you have the opportunity to travel to other countries, like I would strongly suggest that you take it. Especially while you're young guys. While you're young is the time to do it before you have um, a ton of responsibility. So anyways guys, if you've never seen any of my other videos before, go ahead and check out my channel. I do daily vlogs, I do um, covers, I do the occasional review from time to time, and if you like what you see there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, if you could go down there and give me a like, I would really appreciate it. It really helps me in YouTube's like ranking algorithm. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace, good night.